This video will teach you everything you need to know about the new FAA Drone Trust Certification. In some way, consider this a Drone Trust Certificate training course for all recreational drone users. If you've flown a drone for fun in the US anytime in the past few months, you're literally breaking the law. Since June 22, 2021, the FAA released a mandatory knowledge test. It's named TRUST, and you have to pass before you fly a drone recreationally. TRUST stands for the Recreational Unmanned Aircraft System Safety Test. Legally, every recreational pilot needs to complete the TRUST test. Once you get certified, you have to carry the certificate to fly the drone for fun. The test is completely free, it's quick, it only takes about 30 minutes to complete, and it's easy, and you can't fail because you can take it as many times as you want until you pass. Each time you fail it, you take it again until you reach 100% and get certified. So to take the test, you must go to an FAA-approved provider. They must display the FAA Trust logo, otherwise they are not approved by the FAA. Remember that the Recreational Unmanned Aircraft System Safety Test or TRUST is completely free. If anyone asks you to pay for it, it's a scam. Report them to the FAA and make sure you don't pay for the test. Anyone flying their drone for recreational purpose must pass the TRUST test and carry their certificates. So what's a recreational flight? Many people assume that the recreational flight is one that is not operated for a business or any form of compensation. But that's not always the case. Recreational flight is simply flying for fun or personal enjoyment. Non-recreational purposes include taking photos to help sell a property or service, roof inspections, taking pictures of a high school football game for the school's website, goodwill or non-monetary value can also be considered indirect compensation, volunteering to survey Coastlines on behalf of a nonprofit organization is one. The default regulation for drone weighing under 55 pounds is Part 107. The exception for recreational flyers only applies to flights that are purely for fun or personal enjoyment. When in doubt, make sure you fly with your 107. Just know that Trust does not modify in any way the rules for a recreational drone flight. It's just an extra step you must take to be able to fly and it has to do with being educated so everyone can fly safely and not cause any unnecessary accident or injury. Also, having a Part 107 does not count. If you're flying a drone for recreational purpose and you own a Part 107, you must pass the trust test. The rules are not the same from the Part 107, so you have to actually take the test again, and there is no age limit. Anyone who flies a drone recreationally must pass the test. It doesn't matter if you're five years old, 10 years old, you have to take the test. The test was actually created with that in mind, so it's very simple. And honestly, the information on the test is good information that everyone should know before they fly their drone. So the first thing you need to do is register your drone. Go to the fadronezone.fa.gov website, register it. It costs $5 and it's good for three years. Make sure you display the FA registration visibly on the aircraft and cancel the registration if your drone is destroyed, sold, or transferred. Now, to pass the trust test, you take the mandatory test and carry a copy of your completion certificate. If you lose your certificate, you have to pass it again. There are no records of this test, so make sure you keep it on a hard drive, your Dropbox, cloud, image library, drone bag, in as many places as you can. The certificate is forever, so make sure you keep a copy for the long term. So now that we know what it is, let's go over the nine rules for recreational flyers under the FAA's USC 44809. The nine rules from the FAA are 1. Fly only for recreational purposes and enjoyment. 2. Follow the safety guidelines of an FAA-recognized community-based organization. 3. Keep your drone within the visual line of sight or use a visual observer. Four, give way to and do not interfere with manned aircraft. Five, fly at or below 400 feet in controlled airspace, that's class B, C, D, and E, only with prior authorization by using the LAANC or drone zone. Six, fly at or below 400 feet in class G, uncontrolled airspace. 
Flying drones in certain airspace is not allowed. Classes of airspace and flying restrictions can be found on the B4U Fly app or the UAS facility maps. Seven, take the recreational UAS safety test, the trust, and carry proof of the test passage. Eight, have a current registration, mark your drone on the outside with the registration number and carry proof of the registration with you. Nine, do not operate your drone in a dangerous manner. For example, do not interfere with emergency response or law enforcement activities. Do not fly under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Individuals violating any of these rules and or operating in a dangerous manner may be subject to FAA enforcement action. So these are the nine rules from the FAA. And if you think about it, it makes sense. It's the basic needs for all of us to be safe while everyone is starting to fly their drones in the sky and we want to make sure there are no unnecessary accidents. So who can request to see the certificate? Well, the FAA and law enforcement. And just know rule number one from part 107, which is in any flight emergency, rule number one is to maintain control of your aircraft. This is all you need to know about the FAA trust certification. So good luck with your test. I hope you learned a few things in this video tutorial. Thanks for checking Katya's Buzz. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to get some more awesome tips. I have 15 plus years of experience in the field of communication, so I hope you find a few treasures that will help you along the way. I share relevant information on graphic design, social media marketing, audio video production, recommend gear, drones, part 107 study guide, great apps, so if you like my video tutorial, share it with the world so everyone can take advantage of it. See you soon. Have a beautiful day.